teach the worthy habits of that when worthy teachings find the worthy receiver in the in a right exchange. A worthy teaching is pure, relevant, and makes a positive change in the author, subject, and in the space. Worthy receiver is humble, open, focused, focused, and giving. The right exchange means using the right quality, intensity, and time, and be whole by integrity of thoughts, words, and example. This observance transforms the professor into a student and the student into a professor. Professor will master and observe the knowledge. The student will accelerate the process of learning, become therefore representative of the teachings in every teachings. For me, this one is one of the most beautiful because for me, teachings is so strong and uh, so beautiful. And it's very interesting to see a little bit this action start having an, uh, an effect in the company. Because people, I don't know if you know, but like a lot of guys, they don't want to share because they, they feel afraid of sharing knowledge. They feel afraid of their bonus mind. And having this in our company, start seeing, the, start seeing the, this working a little bit into the company and into people in the company is so beautiful to see. Because I mean, the world is really crazy. People think that if they if the other one knowing what to do or how, how to do things, they become competition, right? And the competition is only in the minds of people. There is no competition. There's no no thing like competition. We play a little bit in marketing. We use we need to use this language a little bit in marketing and sales and whatever. But at the bottom line, you're gonna see that there's no competition. There's a, an absurd amount of wealthness, knowledge, power, and energy everywhere. You know, so there is no competition. But you know, even for me, sometimes I get it. Sometimes I I, I compete. But that's interesting that uh, I need to know this more. Even for me sometimes, guys, it's difficult to share my secret sauce, to be sincere, be very, very fair with. Sometimes it's difficult, man. And having this to remind myself for every day, this is extremely powerful, you know? But it's not only teach. And right now when I see, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. I saw like another day, I saw one of my guys, he does a very beautiful artwork, paint, it's called Full Finish. And he was teaching the other painter. It was beautiful to see because this this artwork painting and full finishing is only a few people that can do it. And these people that they, they, they keep it, they don't like to teach it, you know, because they want to be not replaceable. But this kind of being replaceable stuff mindset is a mindset of scarcity, a mindset of abundance. You have to teach, you have to give, teach everything you have, guys. You're gonna do this. If you teach, you're gonna make this right. And what will I make? So teach the worthy is teach the worthy thing, the right knowledge. So it makes no sense for me to be teaching something that's not in the level of the receiver. I cannot teach like quantex mathematics to a kid of two years old. You understand? So this is not the, the this is not the word knowledge. The word knowledge is the knowledge. You're gonna see the word knowledge. That the word teaching is pure, relevant. It's relevant to them because if it's not relevant, it don't make change. It could be only an egoistic teaching. The teaching is not to be egoistic about you. It have to be about the receiver. You understand? It's pure. Pure means that you're not gonna be creating false so you're going to be anchor and truth to be teaching as much as you can you're not going to be lying or doing stuff or shady stuff or something that you don't know relevant and makes a positive change in the author so this have to make a positive change because if you don't make a positive change you are not doing this freaking action you're doing everything else but not this in the author subject in into the space so have to make the change in the, those three guys right in the people that's sharing the people that's receiving and the te teaching is so strong that even the space, even the natural, the world, whatever you want to call the space or the energy around you, then understand that and vibrates in this. Uh, worthy receiver is humble, open, focused, and giving. Let me tell you this. In yoga, in yoga, we have a, we have a technique called puja. Not a technique, it's a, it's a more a habit or a, a ritual called puja. You could have give flowers to master, you can give a gift or, you know, fruits or whatever. So, uh, and then that opens the, the channel of that, the chain of exchange. If you do this, you put in your mind, if you're paying for something, you get more value. Basically is this. And everyone in, in, in the psychology, we, we know this. But the ba basically here is, and then, and then what do we do? So in general, we do a puja. We thank the, the teacher, the, the, the master of the yoga for what they're telling you and what they, the knowledge they're sharing with you. Okay. That's very beautiful to see. And let's talk a little bit about this here. But the point is, the guy that is receiving has to be humble. If the guy is coming here tomorrow and he tells that he knows everything, you know how many people they came to you and you start to you start trying to teach some, something for them and don't receive because they are so arrogant that they're not able to receive a new knowledge or 
see in a different direction what they, what they see that blocks that blocks the flow they have to be open they have to be humble they have to be open they have to be attentive attentive because if they're talking with the same people at the same time they're not going to work and they have to be giving they have to be there to give to create a flow because if you don't give it's not going to create a flow the right exchange means using the right quality intensity and time and be whole by the language of thoughts, words, and example. The, the, it's very beautiful. This the the, the 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 intensity, so quality, and I'm gonna explain this a little bit more. But quality is the content, but the quality of the content. Intensity is how strong you are in the content. So for example, uh, I can ha I can I can try to teach something that's so intense to someone that you're gonna break some, you're gonna break the mind of some. It has to be the right intensity. The quality is what they need to write the content related to the thing. Intensity is the power. The time is the right time. Some people is not gonna be ready today to receive a, to receive a knowledge, and they're gonna be ready tomorrow. So the teacher needs to understand what is the right time to say something. Sometimes they stop everyone in my call and say, "Guys, I want you all to come here." You know, I don't know if I'm doing right, but I'm using time to do a teaching. You said right now I'm doing time to do a teaching, okay? And being whole by the language of thoughts, words, and exam. And that's extremely powerful. If you try to teach something that you do not represent or do not understand or do not, uh, like, uh, how can I say this, uh, apply to you. It's not going to be as powerful, it's not going to be a real teacher, you see? If you an example, if I try to practice this freaky stuff every day, when I'm teaching to you here, it's going to be powerful. That's why I'm the most powerful person to, to teach this culture here, because I, I'm the most powerful example of this. And everything, teaching about the construction, teaching about the, the technique of doing painting, teaching about how to create a business, teaching about anything else. If you're an example, maybe, and if you're a whole, if you're in, like every integrity with your knowledge, maybe stronger. You know what's beautiful is this observance of transforming the professor into a student and the student into a professor. And that's beautiful. Because if you are very open to a teaching and you are students, right? And you are worthy, you are someone that's worthy. You're gonna capture this so fast that boom, you can already teach. You understand? If you are open, if you are humble, if you are giving, if you are focusing, you're gonna get it so fast that you become the teacher. Eh? That's very beautiful. And the teacher on the other side, if you are doing the right thing, he becomes the student.